All right, here we go. So I'm going to solve this problem using a two-column proof. Okay, so I'm going to start with 6x plus 5 equals 4x plus 27. How do I know they're equal to each other? Because they are vertical angles. I'll write this symbol for angles for now. Just a, a shorthand for it. Then I have this next line is going to say 2x plus 5 equals 27. And I'm going to say subtract, subtraction property of equality. All right. Then the next line, I'm going to see 2x equals 22. That's also going to be the subtraction property of equality. So what I'm writing on the right is how I got here. How did you get here? Then the last one, I have x equals 11. Someone's like, hey, how'd you get there? Oh, you did the division property of equality. Okay, so here be, oh, how do you know they're equal? Vertical angles are equal. Oh, okay. Wait, how'd you get the 2x here? Where'd the 4x go? I did the subtraction property of quality. 2x equals 20. 2x equals 22, where'd the 5 go? Oh, you did the subtraction property of equality. Where'd the 2 go here? Oh, you did the division property of equality. This always tells you what, how you got here. So this is a two-column proof. Now, I'm going to be talking about an indirect proof. So, in the truth chart, okay, to make a statement false, you have to just have the truth in the beginning and then false the second part. So if I wrote this statement as, if it's a square, then it is not a rectangle, okay? Now, if I try to prove this and I can't, it proves that this statement is correct, okay? If I prove that this one's correct, that would mean that this one is incorrect. Okay, so the contrapositive is another way of proving something, but using the contrapositive statement. Now, the contrapositive of this statement is if it's not a rectangle, then it's not a square. Okay. If it's not a rectangle, then it's not a square. That's the contrapositive of the original statement. Now, if I can prove this statement, then I will be proving the original statement as well because in the truth value, they are equal. Okay, then let's talk about all these different kind of angles and if they're congruent or supplementary. Supplementary means when that when you add them up, they equal 180. So alternating interior angles. Alternating interior angles are four, six, so four and six are alternating interior angles, or three and five are alternating interior angles, okay? These angles are congruent, okay? Same side interior angles, same side interior angles, so four, five, and three six are considered same side interior angles. And these are supplementary. Supplementary, okay? Alternating exterior angles, alternating exterior angles, one and seven, or two and eight, are congruent as well. The next one, corresponding angles. Now, corresponding angles mean that they're on the same place at the top that they are on the bottom. So one is in the top left of these four pieces. So top left, top left of these four. Two goes with the six, the three goes with the seven, and the four goes with the eight. Okay, and I want to write all those down. 
but those are the corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are also congruent. Vertical angles. Vert vertical angles are 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6, 8. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1, or 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 5. Okay? So those are adjacent angles. And those are supplementary here. So vertical angles are congruent, and adjacent angles are supplementary. In this form. Okay? And uh, that's it. Good luck.